Sixth grade, module four, lesson 33, classwork. Example one. What values does the variable have to represent for the equation or inequality to result in a true number sentence? And then it says, what values does it have to represent to be false? So we're gonna say what it has to be true and what it has to be false. So A, y plus six equals 16. So let's solve it. So if we have y plus six, to get y alone, we need to do minus six will be equal to 16 minus six. So all we changed here is we subtracted six from both sides, which would get us y is equal to 16 minus six is 10. So for it to be true, y must be equal to 10. For it to be false, y is anything but 10. So I'm just gonna say y is not equal to 10. B y plus six is greater than 16. So all we changed here is going from equals to greater than. So y plus six minus six is greater than 16 minus six. So y needs to be greater than 10 for it to be true. For it to be false, it needs to be the opposite of that. So y would be less than or equal to 10. So if it's equal to 10, then it's not true. If it's equal to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, any fractions in between there, it would be false. Okay, y plus 6 is greater than or equal to 16. So let's do y plus 6 minus 6 to get y by itself. It's not equal to, it is greater than or equal to 16 minus six, so y, for it to be true, is greater than or equal to 10. For it to be false, y would have to be less than 10, because the opposite of greater than or equal to, so it would be 10 or up, would be anything below 10. But it's not equal to, because here we already used the or equal to sign. So it's just anything less than 10. D, 3G is equal to 15. So let's do three, oh, I don't wanna use the highlighter. Let's do 3G divided by three will be equal to 15 divided by three, or G is equal to 15 divided by three is five. So it's true when G is equal to five, it would be false if g is anything other than five. So if it's five and a half, it's not gonna be true. If it's two, not true. E, three g is less than 15. So three g divided by three is less than 15 divided by three would be g is less than five. So that's when it's true. So anything less than five would make this true. For it to be false, then g would be greater than or equal to five. So five or greater would make this false. F, three g is less than or equal to 15. So again, three g divided by three is less than or equal to 15 divided by three. So g is less than or equal to five. That would make this true. The opposite of that would be g is greater than five. That's when it would be false. So we're just basically finding it and then finding the opposite and making it false. Okay, let's move on to example two. Which of the following numbers, if any, make the equation or inequality true? So we're trying to see 0, 3, 5, 8, 10, or 14. Which one of those would make this true? So for A, we have m plus 4 is equal to 12. So let's solve it. m plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 12 minus 4. So m is equal to 12 minus 4 is 8. So here the only thing that would make this true is if m is equal to eight, which is one of our choices right there, eight. Nothing else will make this true though, because it's exactly equal to 12. 
Okay, B, M plus 4 is less than 12. So this time is less than 12 minus 4. So all that's changed is the inequality symbol. So it's less than instead of equal to. So M is less than 8. So now let's look for any of the options that are less than 8. So the things that would make that true would be 0, 3, and 5. We're not going to include 8 because it says less than 8, not less than or equal to. So here, the ones that would make it true are 0, 3, and 5. C, F minus 4 is equal to 2. So let's solve it. F minus 4 plus 4 would be equal to 2 plus 4. So f is equal to 2 plus 4, which is 6. So 6 isn't included there, so um, none of them are make this true. None make this true. None of, or you could say none of the options make this true. f minus 4 is greater than 2. So f minus 4 plus 4 is greater than 2 plus 4 or f is greater than 2 plus 4 is 6. So let's look for any options that are greater than 6. So anything greater than 6 would be 8, 10, and 14. So those would make this true. And 1 half h, half of h is equal to 8. So the opposite of just finding half of something would be multiplying it by 2. So I'm going to do times 2. h is equal to 8 times 2. So h is equal to 16. And I do not see anything that is 16, so none of these, none make this true. And then again, with, but with a different inequality, so 1 half h times 2. Let me make it a little clearer. I'm going to do times 2 times h is equal to 8 times 2. So h is equal to 16. Sorry, I messed up again. I didn't do the inequality. Okay, is greater than or equal to 8 times 2. So h is greater than or equal to 16. So let's look at our choices up here. Do we have anything greater than or equal to 16? We don't, because the highest it goes is 14. So again, none make this true. exercises. So I think these are just the same as what we were doing before. Choose the numbers that make the inequality true from the following set. So we have 0, 1, 5, 8, 11, and 17. So m plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 6 minus 5. So m is equal to 1. So the only thing that makes this true is 1, and we do have a 1 there. So 1. m plus 5 minus 5 is less than or equal to 6 minus 5. So m is less than or equal to 6 minus 5 is 1. So anything less than or equal to 1 would be 0 and 1. Number 3. 5h divided by 5 is equal to 40 divided by 5. So h is equal to 40 divided by 5 is 8. So h must be equal to 8. Do we have an 8? We do. So 8 is the only thing that makes that true. Now we have 5h is greater than 5, or greater than 40 divided by 5. So h must be greater than 8. Let's pick out anything that is greater than 8, which would be 11 and 17. And we're, remember, we're not including 8 there because it has to be greater than. It's not greater than or equal to. Number 
5 1 half y so to counteract the 1 half I'm going to multiply it by 2 is equal to 5 times 2 so y is equal to 10 is there a 10 up here? nope so none make this true Okay, now 1 half y, 1 half times 2y is greater than or equal to 5 times 2 would be equal to y must be greater than or less than or equal to 10. So let's find anything that's less than or equal to 10. That would be 0, 1, 5, and 8. And 7, k minus 3 is equal to 20. So k minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 20 plus 3. So then k must be equal to 23. Do we have a 23? No. So none make this true. And the last one, k minus 3 plus 3 is greater than 20 plus 3, so k must be greater than 23. And do we have anything greater than 23? We do not. The largest number is 17, so none make this true. And that's all for the classwork.